now i'll now i'll take you across the two aspect of next week's trend one how our last week's trend performed and uh, next is how you are going to trade in nifty and bank nifty next week and this trend calculation is being done using the one standard deviation formula and once you are visiting our website on the home page itself you will get a link and download this weekly report so once you visit this link you will get all past 60 weeks trend calculation using the one standard deviation so for which which week what are the levels we have given that is uh, very much uh, cleared here and uh, last week's trend if you can look into last week was a very troubled week for the traders uh, trend has reversed and again it has uh, given a breakout so if i'm going to the nifty and i'm just going for the historic data to examine how it has worked from 5th to 9th so you can find it out that this is the thing it has happened 8092 level it has opened up and it has gone till 8175 level settled at 8164 level and this is uh, 8076 was the low it was a class crash type of thing has happened in the morning when market opened within 5 or 10 minutes on the first beginning of this thing it has happened and our calculations was like this la for last week so 8142 8077 8076 got hit in the morning but it was a flash crash crash that's why i used to say that when the market open just give some 10 to 15 minute time for the market to settle down then you enter so if you look into this 43 has come and the 63 level we have closed 0.38 level because rbi review was pending and post post which you can see that very next day till 8219 also we have gone 8219 level this is the second target level we have gone 82 one nine our second target calculation was eight two two zero level so definitely the trailing has a triggered here on third day seventh that is also eight two one eight level so eight two six seven and yesterday high was eight two nine four so almost trailing has a triggered then we have gone to thirty four eighty two this is the level till 1.236 we have achieved and uh, if you look into this closings of every day's closing along with and you compare with our the levels calculated you'll find out a very close similarity in that however trailing has triggered as i have told you how to counter this kind of troubled market because all the weeks are not the straight line weeks or when you will get a trend breakout and achieve all the targets Normally, it happens in the 50% cases that your trailing will trigger. So, on those situations, what I have told you, once you achieve the first or second target, try to sell one option of higher strike. So, suppose if you are buying at 8142.97 or 8143 level, and Nifty has managed to cross 8220 level, second target, then try to sell some 8350 call option and once nifty gives a trailing stop loss trigger because for first target the trailing is 8163 for second target the trailing is 8180 for the third target 8220 so once this trailing triggers what you have to do you have to wait for the 0 0.382 level to come for a re-entry because once the trailing trigger, that time also you close the sell side option so that you book the profit in the option what you have uh, right at the level of second target or so. And then after you have again re-enter. So this is how you have to work on, on troubled market. And second also I have told you about the put call ratio as I have uh, 
given in our YouTube channel. The put call ratio analysis specific videos. Whenever Nifty put call ratio crosses above 1.16, we used to say it is a off trend. So 1.16 above, it is a off trend. So I have just taken the put call ratio here. I have just taken the number of puts, 52915675, and whatever the numbers of contract is open, so that I have just divided here and got the put call ratio 1.23 for the next week. So it suggests that the trend may be up. Now going to this week's report. <clears throat> so you can see the report here or you can also download the report from this link where the PDF report will be given. So once you click on this report, you will get the detailed report along with its calculations and other things. For next week, I have taken a reference of 8 to 7, 5 and the real time volatility estimated by me is 10.10. This is real time volatility not being copied from VIX, not being copied from anywhere. So it is a calculation we have done as per the GARS process. So here 10.10 is the real time volatility, 8, put, 8 to 7, 5 is the reference price. So this is the calculations comes in terms of uh, one standard deviation. We got a price range 116 points. We have taken the seed number 8275 from there. All uptrends we have calculated means 116 point multiplied with 0.236. Whatever the point has come that is got added and we got all these levels. Same way that same point is being subtracted from 8275 got the downtrend prices. So 8302 above the trend is up. 8248 below the trend is down is the uptrend breakout gives the first target will be 8347 second will be 8366 third will be 8378 like this fourth target and fifth target you will get and same way if the downtrend breakout given 8248 level then first target will be 8203 second will be 8184 and so on till 8087 you can expect so here i have given that same thing in the literal form of trend confirmation where it happens and above first target what are the targets you can expect range bound whenever the price oscillates between the 0.5 retracement level means 8333 to 8217 level that is a range bound market once you buy at 8302 level i am with a stop loss of 8248 i am telling to has the trade with 8250 put option if you are selling at 8248 I'm telling to hedge it with 8300 call option. So I'm also telling you here how to trade with this particular pick. I'm also telling you once you buy it with a put option. Once your first target achieved, then you trail your stop loss to tra trail your stop loss to the first target achieved. Then you trail your stop loss to 0.382 level, so which is 8319 level, and second target achieved. Trail your stop loss to 0.5 and like this way you can go on trailing your stop losses and these 0 0.236, 0 0.382 are the Fibonacci ratios. So I'm using here to buy some options to hedge. You can try to sell some options for hedging also. So you can use any kind of options for hedging so there is no rule for that but for simplicity sake I am just using a buying option long future with a long put option or long a short future with a long call option to hedge it. You can think of writing of some options also. Bank Nifty I have taken here. So next week from 12th to 16th December I have taken reference price 18,720, 394 and based on that we have derived these levels. Here since the Base is little white, means it is a five digit number. So I am telling you to enter at 0.38 to retracement level. So once you enter here, so you can think of hedging it with the nearest put option. If you are buying the bank Nifty at 18,870, try to hedge it with the nearest put option of weekly option. So 18,900 put option. Here people used to ask me because this trend level is from the Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday and the weekly weekly 
options is uh, expiring on Thursday. So once you got a breakout, say Monday, you didn't get first target on Tuesday or Wednesday. So by Tuesday or Wednesday, if you are not getting that breakout, so what to do? So you have, uh, means you can say till 16th, these levels are valid. For 15th, you have a weekly ops, uh, weekly expiry. So in this case, what you have to do since you have two more days left out, option you are using for hedging, you want a breakout, didn't achieve the target, or first target you have achieved, second target you have achieved, you want for higher targets. Better close that option and move into the next series options. Next series options. So 22nd, 22nd series, 22nd expiry options. That is one choice. Second choice is once you achieve the first target or second target, and Thursday it is going to expire, you are in the Tuesday or Wednesday. So try to sell some options because last target is 19,357. If you can sell it at some 19,400 put option, call option along with this, you have a future long, you already bought 18,900 put option, you have a future long or future buy, along with that you have a 18,900 put option. You achieved the second target say 19,029. That time, if you are selling some 19,350 call option, sorry, 19,400 call option, then it will be better for you. So this is a second choice. Either roll that option to the next next series sufficiently well in advance, one or two days in advance, or try to go for a next series. Or while initiating the trade itself, you go for the next series. So you'll be almost safe. So this is how you should trade in the bank nifty. And every week wise, I used to give that along with this report, you will be getting all analysis, how it has happened, how the weekly trends performed. So all those follow-ups also, you'll be getting by email. And these levels are, as I have told you, it is being calculated using the one standard deviation concept. And using the same concept, we have a software which you can utilize for intraday and intraday and positional trade. So this is the product section. If you visit our product section, this is the product for one standard deviation, which you can just by clicking here, you can buy this online also. So here not only that, we have many different unique courses which is being developed on different different unique concepts. So these these courses are not just a copied version of the prevailing concept. Whatever the concept we have re-modified, reworked, and reshaped for a better success, those are the things we have to do. Like you must be knowing the Fibonacci principle, but this may be a new thing for you to. No, Fibonic principle is being utilized in this order. One standard deviation, way you take a price range, use the Fibonic ratios. So this may be a new thing. So this kind of small, small changes we brought into many other systems to give you a better accuracy in the trend forecast. So all those things you can find out in our courses and uh, part of those concepts are being programmed through softwares. And along with that also, we have an ex extensive mentoring program wherein you can enroll with us on one, one year mentoring program where you will get all your courses, whatever the courses we have, whatever the softwares we have, everything will give you. And you will also get an opportunity to trade with us in live market to learn specific concept every month by. So this will be a mentoring program. So. The very objective of this program is to make you a confident trader. So this is also you can think of joining if you are thinking to make trading as a serious career option. But if you are just trading with the uh, watching some TV screens, going through specific uh, news items only, not serious enough in that, then these are the things will not help you. If you believe that market works on specific concepts, it obeys specific principles, it works on specific rules, then you may follow our levels. But if you think that market only works on rumors, gossips, and it doesn't have any technicality, then our concept will not help you. 
However, market never works on the gossips and uh, whatever the anticipation of the traders. Market works on specific principles and those principles are your technical studies, your physiological studies and all the behavioral studies of the trader. But actually this one standard deviation and Fibonacci does. Fibonacci, you must probably seeing that from many weeks we are giving these weekly levels and you are getting this proper price points hit. Exact precisely it is getting it. So first we are calculating a volatility which is real time in nature which gives the what is the fear factor of a trader at that particular point time. Then we are using the Fibonacci ratios which is very much present in the nature and this Fibonacci principle is called as the physiological studies or the behavioral studies of a financial instrument. So how one trader will behave at a particular point or particular price point that is reflected in the Fibonacci. So we are just clubbing both the principles together and give you this one standard deviation trend forecast. Same way our GAN angle and volatility, GAV principle also, one such method. Same way many other principles we have brought into this domain. So which can help you to refine your trade to a great extent. So this is this is how you should trade next week in the Nifty and Bank Nifty. Above 8302, think of buying along with the hedge, 8250 put option. 82 for 8, for, for 8 below, try to sell with an edge of 8300 call option. This is the simplest edge. Beyond that, many complexities you can add to your similar trade practice. So keep following these levels and give your feedback on this at the end of this reporting week.